Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. I'm excited for this unboxing and I just want to say thanks to Jordan Z for making this possible. He decided that uh, one of the species on my wish list should come my way and uh, I can't fault him for that. I, in fact, I'm extremely grateful. So thank you, Jordan, for this. All right, certainly well packed so far. Let's see. Oh, nice. Oh, I always like to see the polystyrene lined box. Got a cool pack in there and it feels a little cool still. So excellent sign. Oh, here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. those are looking pretty marvelous. Check that out. Porcelio ornatus high yellow. This is a species I've had, but I haven't had this morph. I have Porcelio ornatus yellow dot, but I've been wanting this morph for a very long time. And these look like fantastic specimens. Wow. Let's get the, uh, the lid off and we'll take a closer look. We go oh. again very well packed it's taped on nicely it's not going to come loose in shipping on every side very very nicely done by the way this container i love this container uh, for shipping it's great it's pre-ventilated and whatnot but this is also an excellent size for a lot of isopods when you're starting out uh, as a colony. I mean, I could keep these in here for a, a little while and looks like they'd probably be okay for, you know, a little while as long as I make sure they are fed and, and whatnot. But I kept, for example, my uh, Armadillidium vulgaria punticana in a container just like this. They were sold in it and I was able to keep them in there until they started breeding and then I moved them out. So love these containers. If you happen to know where to get this size of this style of container, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. I've been looking for them. I can find smaller versions that are only about this big, you know, and that's not quite big enough for, for what I want it for. So if you know where to get these, let me know. All right, let's open this up. Look at how fantastic these look. They are so vivid. You know, the young are often, uh, they're kind of a, a paler, whiter sort of color uh, from the pictures I've seen and from what I understand, but these are fantastic. They're already extremely uh, colored up. The yellow is bright and attractive. Oh, these are, these are great. I am delighted with these. Um, and now we need to put them into their enclosure. So let me get that ready. And when I said, let me get that ready, I didn't mean, let me actually put all the things in the enclosure that need to be there. I mean, I need to pick it up off the couch and put it over here because, you know, I, I've prepared this prepared this in advance some time ago put springtails in it a couple of days ago and everything so that it'll be ready to roll when the time comes so here we go this is one of my favorite parts when we do you know the release into the enclosure and you get to see them close up you know i realized in my excitement i had forgotten to put the uh, better lighting on and so i apologize for that that the first part of it was maybe a little dimmer than normal but uh just because I was so excited, I guess, to get these ready. I thought about doing the lighting and then just forgot. So let's get another good close-up look at these guys. Wow. You can see some have, you're know, almost entirely yellow and some are, you know, a little bit more variegated and all gorgeous, completely gorgeous. I don't know what it is about yellow on isopods. Yellow's not my favorite color, but on isopods, I, I absolutely adore it. And I think I've said that before, but uh, the high yellow isopods are just incredible. Well, I suppose I could sit and gawk at these all day, but uh, let's get them, let's get them moved out to their enclosure. You know, this is one of the uh, larger 
Spanish Porcelio species, so they do like some decent ventilation, a dry area as well as a, a moss pit, so to speak. There's three. I'm going to set those down right here. They do like some cork bark, you know, a good place to, to dry out in a well-ventilated area. But the interesting thing is they're a lot hardier than some of the others. So did I lose count already? I think I just put four down. And then we've got five, six, seven, eight on here, I believe. That's eight. And then some more in here. Nine, ten, right here. And then there's another one here, 11, and I would be surprised if there's not one or two more kicking around in the moss. It's very possible at least. So I'll just give a cursory look here, just in case I see one. But even if I don't, of course, I'm going to put the moss over here. So I would hate to lose, up. Oh, see, there's one right there. So there's 12 in here unless I've lost count and or missed one and they are gorgeous. I want to take a moment to thank our supporters at Patreon. I want to thank Jordan for sending these. He's a, a Patreon supporter, but I also want to thank all of our other supporters at Patreon because things like this unboxing happen a lot more often because of our supporters at Patreon and because of the rest of you who support us in many different ways. You can shop at the Aquarimax store or use our affiliate links or, um, you know, just watching our videos makes a difference too. And, and there are other people who have sent us things and, you know, just generally made Aquarimax pets a better place to hang out. So thank you very much to all of you who support the channel in any way. And thanks for watching today. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, if you haven't already, subscribe, and then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.